okay <clears throat> I have missed Sunday and Monday vlog so I was thinking probably I should take this chance to patch back my Sunday and Monday so on Sunday we were discussing on where we should stay in Hong Kong um, in my previous vlogs I mentioned that we are planning a trip a couple trip so um, it will be me, my hubby, my sister-in-law and her hubby as well so while we have decided that we wanted to go Hong Kong and we plan to book um, an apartment through air but I think it's Airbnb or Airbnb I'm not too sure anyway they're the one who do it so we were searching for um, an apartment that it's near the city area okay our our first filter is city area as in accessible area to the MTR there and it's suppose um, it has two bedroom and of course the bedroom has to be a queen size bed because it's a couple and we wanted two toilets because we were debating um, if it's one toilet or what happened if you know one is taking a bath and out of a sudden another one needs urgently to visit a toilet and I mean what can we do right so uh, so we searched high and low for such apartment and it was a very tough search all right so with two bathroom it's the the selection was pretty um it's only a few selection that we can choose from and then we have to look for the review because it's really i mean they are not hotels so in terms of reputation none of us know and there's only a few pictures that allow you to see how the apartment looks like how is the decoration and what is the how comfortable is the bed and so on so it's it's a very less um less option uh, for us to know exactly how the place look like because I mean I mean we are not there yet you and later on we find out that when you choose your dates the price changes and because we are going there during the long weekend um, 1st of May which is Labor Day so it's, it's considered a peak um, days but when we were doing our searches the price indicating there was not the actual price it's just basically showing you the cheapest price you can get um, for that apartment so that is the first thing that we realized so when you change the date the amount changes as well second it you have to really read the small print because um, for apartment is usually um, two two to four guests. So when we do our filter, we will search like okay, we need two bathroom, we need two bedroom, and it's able to accommodate at least four, right? So we thought that all these are being. Um, filter already and all these are the searches that we have already filtered but when you read on a small print um, they, they actually have a very small wording stating there that if you want to book for four uh, you have to pay extra for the other two meaning to say that it's meant for the pricing indication there for per night is meant for two packs and if you need more than two packs and each packs um, you have to top up additional mm -hmm. that we find it very challenging is we have to read the review because um, that's the only thing that we, we can make sure that we are pretty comfortable with the apartment and 
um, when we read through the reviews we find any good great reviews that we can you know take a risk and book it right so when we read through the reviews um, you really have to read in between the lines so some we, we read one review I mean we were very fascinated by one apartment and it was winning our budget and we are so keen in it to make the booking so we read a few reviews and three out of probably um, ten maybe because there are so many we can't read everything so we probably read three and three mentioned that the host is good very responsible I mean that is a good part of it and the place um, was clean very well renovated the the staff in the house is new but the corridor um, was smelly was very smelly and they can hear the squeezing uh, the squeaking sound of the mouse and it was very loud and it's not just one, it's three of them stating the same thing. The smell, the noise that made by the mouse or the rat. So you can sort of um, imagine, right, <laughs> how dirty the place is. Well, it was I pretty disappointed, you know, that we have went through so much just to find for an ideal apartment that all of us sort of like was very um, amazed by the whole decoration and how clean um, the place is but the outside factor is also something that we have to consider so that is something we learn so it's very interesting I mean doing all this budgeting and you know searching for an apartment that we want this is the first time honestly when I go for Hong Kong I just book for a hotel because that's the safest and cleanest um, place that you you want to go um, it's a bit taxing we have been searching for hotel not hotel we have searching for apartment for like close to three days including um, yesterday and we make appointment um, we made booking for two apartments and apparently these two apartments was rejected and they don't tell you as to why it's been rejected and they don't even you know, suggest you some other places and they just tell you that sorry your payment is rejected so after we went through so many days of finding a budget apartment finally we you know give up and we went for a hotel booking instead so, um, it's a it's a great lesson for us um, you know in and I mean the whole process wasn't really very enjoyable but you know at least you learn something that when you want to go through a budget kind of uh, searches you have to be very 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 careful and read in between the fine prints read a lot on the reviews um, some good reviews are there but you have to read in between the lines and make sure that this is not what you want and if you when you read some reviews you, you think that no this is not the condition that you want to live in then move on and find a new one um, it seems to be quite a very smooth process for some of them but I personally we went through it wasn't really that smooth uh, you can try I mean it's quite an enjoyable process but tiring so this is on Sunday 